Hey, what's up guys? Tom from Positive Lead Diagnostics. Today we're working on a 2013 Volkswagen Jetta uh, with a 2.5 liter engine. Customer complaint is a check engine light and it's stalling. So I have it running right now. I already looked at this a little bit earlier. Uh, we have some cam sensor faults. Let me get you a shot of those faults. So it looks like we have a cam position sensor signal too high, P0343. P0341 cam sensor implausible signal. And then we have an undocumented code, 52A00H. Uh, I'll get the meaning of that later. Um, and then the next one is a P0011, bank one cam retard set point not reached. So that, that's a timing over advanced fault. So I already have the scope hooked up to the cam and crank. I'm letting this run, hoping that it'll start to stall. And what it looks like is we have a failing cam sensor. The signal is staying too high. So just a shot of the cam sensor lives underneath this engine cover. And then the crank sensor is down there. Um, I'll just put up a picture of my lead hooked up to it. So we're just on the signal wire of the crank sensor, signal wire of the cam sensor. Set the scope up. Alright guys, so my green trace is my crank signal, yellow trace is my cam sensor. Both signals are good right now. And I'm letting this thing heat up, hoping that it will just stall on its own. I'm going to start flexing on this cam sensor. You can do the same thing on crank sensors, cam sensors. Um, it was stalling earlier. Get it back up. And when it was acting up, oh, there we go. I'm just flexing on this cam sensor. See if I caught that. I don't think I did. Uh, I don't see it. it. Just happened so fast, I might have missed it. Do that again. I'll just flex on this. Trying to do something. There we go. You guys see that? So right here, see our cam sensor stuck high. Right here you can see we lose our cam signal. Looks like it's just a failed sensor, but we need to know if our ground is okay. So now my cam signal is just stuck high. I'll just go to the ground right now. 0 0.06 still on my ground. There's my signal. That's our five volt reference right there. I'm just going down the line on this connector. I'll put a picture up. There's my signal wire. I'm gonna flex on this, try to make my signal come back. There we go. That's me just wiggling this connector. So this is just a failed cam sensor, guys. All right, guys, so a uh, pretty simple one. Needs a cam sensor. Um, I just wanted to go over a few things uh, in regards to the codes. Um, there was one code um, that was undocumented, um, and it was a 52A00H undocumented code. I scanned it with Otis, which is the factory tool, and that is a P052A cold start cam position timing over advanced. So we had <clears throat> P0011 timing over advanced, and then we had the P052A, which was the undocumented code, that's cold start timing over advanced. And then we had the 343 cam sensor circuit high input, P0341 cam sensor circuit range performance. Um, just going back over these codes, these timing over advanced faults are clearly from the cam sensor that is failing. It's dropping in and out and the computer is seeing 
these square waves in different locations of the crank and it's it's saying whoa that's not right so um, I just wanted to basically just go over that that's why we're getting these faults we have a cam and crank relationship waveform that is saved when the car is running we can look at where our crank and cam are lined up it's the second tooth second big tooth on the cam usually lines up in the crank sink somewhere and ours is pretty much spot on so our cam timing is fine and these are false codes sometimes we would get an extended crank sometimes it would stall so but these are false codes that are being set by this failed cam sensor so and usually you know when you're flexing on a sensor like that you're flexing the pins inside of the housing of the sensor and making dropouts causing the car to stall it's usually a failed sensor I'm gonna wait to get the okay if we do uh, it's just putting a cam sensor in I'll get you some afters but if not we've proved that this is definitely a faulty cam sensor so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching